Okay, so let's have a look at storage basis direct. And before I get going on that particular piece, uh, the demos that I'm going to be showing to you are available up on CodePlex. And if you go to uh, ws2016lab.codeplex.com, uh, one of our uh, premier field engineers has done a bunch of scripts that will help you to build the environment that I'm actually uh, working against. I just wanted to make sure that um, I gave credit to uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah uh, because he uh, he's put a lot of work into this and it's worth having a look. So after you run that particular uh, script, you're going to get a bunch of machines that get set up. You're going to get a DC, uh, a bunch of machines called Direct 1, 2, 3, 4, some replica machines and some shared machines. The one I'm going to be focusing on here is the Direct, uh, which is a four node cluster that I have currently set up. Now, this particular um, cluster that I've got here has, um, is all locally attached storage. If I go and have a look at uh, this particular machine and go into the settings of this VM, you'll see that I have a bunch of hard drives that are attached to um, the SCSI controller. Okay, So these are all directly attached storage. And these have been set up in such a way um, so that we identify that clustering uh, as SSDs versus uh, HDDs so that we can do tiering. Uh, so you see I've got a bunch of, uh, I've got my main hard drive, and then I've got a bunch of uh, SSDs uh, that can act as my SSD tier, and then I've got a, an HDD um, bunch of drives that are acting as my HDD tier, just so that we can actually set up tiering for that. Now, these are all locally attached storage, and if I go into those machines, and let's, uh, let's go and have a look at uh, the DC itself. Let me just log on to uh, this guy. Oops. All right, so after I've set up these machines, I've run a script inside the uh, domain controller. Uh, in, at the beginning of this script, you'll see there's a link to the article on setting up storage bases direct. Now, I'm not going to call out everything in this particular script, but there's a couple of things that I want to call out here so that you can get an idea of what we're actually doing. Right now, storage spaces direct is enabled um, through PowerShell only at this point in time. Uh, so if you look at the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go and install uh, the uh, clustering feature on each of my machines, uh, along with uh, all the tools that I need for that. I'm going to generate a bunch of server names, and in this case, they're direct. Um, all those servers are called direct one, two, three, and four. Uh, then I'm going to go and configure a SAN policy, uh, and we're going to do a bunch of things here. But I wanted to um, uh, show you the commands that I'm going to be using for create, testing and creating the cluster. So first of all, we have to test uh, my servers to make sure that they will work with storage bases direct. Um, so, you, so I'm going to run a command called test desk cluster. The name I'm going to call my servers variable. Whether it's going to work with storage bases direct. And for initially, when we set up the cluster, we're going to we're going to set it up with no storage because we're going to do that a little bit later on. We set up a new cluster. We're going to call it um, direct dash cluster. And then after that, we're going to once the, the the cluster is set up, all we need to do is enable uh, the the actual cluster. Um, storage space is direct. And then after we've done all that, we can then go and create um, our um, virtual disks. We can go and create our mirrors, create our parity. I can go here, I'm going to create my storage pool. Uh, we can go and create all of our stuff that we need to do that configure CSV, everything that you would normally do with a cluster. Now, what does that actually look like once we've actually set up that particular cluster? So let's go over to my admin machine, and I'm going to connect up to my, my admin machine. Let's just get my admin machine on this screen. And what does it look like once we have this up? So once we're actually done, we have our, our cluster, and I've connected that with um, Failover Cluster Manager. And I have uh, a role uh, set up on this, and I've, uh, I've created a scale-out file server across all this, and you can see the current owner node for that. And we have uh, some disks that are there, and you see here I get, I end up with a, uh, in this case, I've got a number of disks, I've got 17 and their GPT disk, and I've got a total amount of storage of um, capacity of 1.1 terabytes. Uh, and if I go down and uh, as part of that um, 
that uh, script, I'll go and create a pool. And my pool has a uh, capacity of 204 terabytes. And I can see, I can go and look at the uh, virtual disks. Uh, and this is my cluster. It's uh, a CSV and all the physical disks that I currently have uh, enabled for that. And what you can actually see here is that I've got my uh, SSDs versus my HDDs so that I can then go and uh, go and set up uh, tiering. Um, and then it's, it's, it's as simple as that. Once your, your cluster is set up, you have a cluster, and in this case, it's running on a nano server, very, very small, but, you know, just attached, direct attached disks uh, that are set up in order for you to, to set up your cluster in storage spaces direct. We think this is going to be give customers a lot of choice in regards to how they actually set their environment up. So that's a quick look at Storage Spaces Direct and how you actually set it up. Uh, please go to have a look at that lab so that you can have a look at um, uh, how to set this up yourself. Uh, in this case, I'm setting it up in, a, in an environment that I have one gigabit ethernet across all my machines. We're certainly gonna be recommending 10 gigabit ethernet uh, for that going forward. So this is just a test lab for you to have a look at and see what it looks like.